in Colorado and Nebraska. That is so creepy. A mystery in the night sky. What some say are drones, lots of them, but no one seems to know from where or why. That little dot right there. Jennifer Rollins was visiting family in Yuma County the day after Christmas when she spotted the flying objects, capturing this one on camera. It's just hovering there. It's a mystery and you want answers. Yeah, and I think everybody out there does too. It's really unnerving to be out there by yourself and you see these flashing lights near your home. You want to know what it is and why it's out there. The enigma? Puzzling Colorado and Nebraska law enforcement in more than a dozen counties. Witnesses say the drones typically appear after sunset, as many as 30 flying in formation, 200 to 300 feet above ground, some with wingspans estimated at six feet. One sheriff pinpointing the area where a rancher spotted some on New Year's Eve. He observed anywhere from five to 10 drones over about a 25 mile square radius. Although they don't believe the flying objects to be malicious, officials want answers. Colorado Senator Cory Gardner tweeting that he's closely monitoring the situation. A Federal Aviation Administration spokesman telling CNN multiple FAA divisions and government agencies are investigating these reports. It's not clear if the flights are breaking any laws, but they've drawn attention just as the FAA proposed sweeping new regulations requiring most drones to be identifiable. Legal or not, CNN aviation expert David Susi says they could pose a threat. People think, oh, it's just a drone, it's a small drone, it's no danger to aircraft, but it is in fact a danger to aircraft. They still are made of metal and they can go through the aircraft and cause damage. Even engine ingestion can cause an engine failure. Some theories suggest the drones could be flown by private companies conducting land surveys or part of a show like this one. Someone tinkering with new Christmas gifts? Not likely. Formation drone and flying in fleets is not something for the amateur. In fact, Susie says they might not be drones at all, rather communication satellites. It would also explain 